Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. We're putting up our fence line. Melanie, you can pan and show them we're putting up our fence. This is only a, a four foot fence, but we're gonna have electric fence wire above it up to eight foot high. So this is gonna stop small animals and two-legged critters from coming through. And the higher fence is gonna help prevent two-legged critters and deer from going through. So the problem is everything in nature wants to eat our food. And this year it's strange, but is there any oak tree? Yeah, look here. The trees and nature are not budding yet. And because we've had freezing nights, we're in the middle of May. So there's no food for the animals yet. There's hardly anything. So they want to eat what we have because we're giving them free food and they love it. They're very thankful, but that leaves us with nothing. So we have to stop them before we can finish planting anything in our property for ourselves. Otherwise, we're just feeding the animals and really I don't want to do that. It's going to be a hard year, I think, for nature. So we've got to get this out before we plant. Well, we're making it. I was going to go to that tree, but then we'd have a hump, which would keep us off the ground. So, even Michelle is helping out. Then, we're going to rerun the electric fence wire around, further around these, the fence. So, we get, we get a lot to do, but we've come a long way. We've gone all the way back here, around our back driveway, and all the way over to the garage, out by the, the driveway where the truck stays, all the way along uh, pine and we're almost done with Lyle actually we're turning the corner at Lyle here and going along our other road Carroll we'll be done probably done with our back fence today the wire fence and then I'll be doing the uh, electric fence tonight probably well guys we're almost to the orchard Next big roll. It's the best we got. Now this fence by itself isn't stopping anything, but it's the extension we're putting up with the electric fence. And then there'll be a brush pile fence four foot high behind it. And then we're gonna have a wood pile fence in front of that for privacy. We're gonna have multiple layers of defense here in the property. I need your help, man. What are you doing? 
Oh, you got a phone call. Well, guys, we're to the gate. Now, we're extending the orchard. I used to have a straight line down through here, but that was just a deer fence. Right now, actually, I'm going out to Carroll Road and going down along Carroll Road, because this is the real deal. This is not a temporary thing. And this one is going to uh, enclose our orchard and all of our property all the way around. I definitely want this one good. Now, this fence is uh, floppy. I gotta figure out where it is. Up and what's it down? What's the top, I should say, here? Hey. Well, I've got a long, long day ahead of me because once this is done, I still have to redo all the electric fence wire. Uh, I got, had a tick on me today, so that's part of the reason I'm in such a, a desperate state and driven to get this done. We do not want Michelle to get ticks on her when she's playing. But we got to stop the deer permanently and completely. ties on this one will be fine. It doesn't seem to be that heavy a fence. Yeah. I still can't bend my other knee, but it's better. It'll get there eventually, I think. So my goal to have this all done today. It's gonna be a long, long day. Tonight when a deer get up and they come out to have their dinner, they're gonna be in shock. Like what? The rabbits, the rabbits, they love our plants, our berries, our trees. All right, well, we're gonna be off camera here, so. Well, we're over here. And we're getting it. This is along Carroll Road, which is our road by our wooded property. All that is ours over there. And this is just an e easement through our land that other people use. Where Melanie is, we're gonna put in another T post and keep going. This one should be inside. 
And so on and so on it goes. Well, we're exhausted. Here's the entrance to the orchard from Carroll Road. Uh, we're wooded properly. The easement runs through it. And this is a gateway here. And give you an idea what all we did, all the way down, all the way down to Lyle Road, the corner there, way back, and all the way along Lyle to the front of our property and up to the garage, and then all the way along Carroll. So far, we were gonna keep going, but we don't think we have enough fence for now. And don't forget, I still gotta run an electric fence wire above that to stop deer from jumping over. But what we got for now is we come to a corner near to an end of, of a spool of wire that's four spools out of six that we have. So we don't quite have enough to get to the end of our corner of our lot, of this section. There's two cabin lots in, in between here and the end of our property and uh, that we own. Right now, we're gonna cut across from this corner post and run a straight line back and connect over behind my sheds to where the wood fence is going to be the solid privacy fence so for now this is uh this is as far as we're going to go we just le left this here because we will eventually carry on but we're exhausted and we're going to need more fence we're absolutely going to need well that's that's four rolls from corner to here is four rolls that's 200 feet from that corner to here is 200 feet so uh we still need a good 200 feet, I think, or more. I don't know, it might be two or 300 feet to the end. So we're gonna need more rolls because we only have two more of the new rolls left and maybe another 200 feet. I don't think, I just don't think we have enough. Plus we've got to close off one somewhere. So for now we're gonna run a temporary line to here um, with scrap pieces all the way back. And then later we'll finish closing off all of this section all the way over and all the way back closing in our our little lot here and then cutting across behind the sheds with the wood fence but for today we've got it and then michelle will be able to run and play inside the fence line without fear of predators of any kind and that will be nice for us well guys Michelle has to be in the camera. We worked hard. After we finished the, um, got to a corner down here where I last recorded, we continued on all the way over to, well, I can't see it from where I'm sitting. I'm hurting bad. We're all hurting bad. We're done all the way back to behind my sheds. And then um, up, to, up to the sheds. And then from that corner of our, land all the way to the wood fence is going to be a eight foot tall homemade wood fence but everything from here to here 
all the way along Carroll Road, all the way to Lyle Road, all the way to Pine Road, and all the way to the front corner of the garage. The only thing left is the driveway gates and the eight foot privacy fence between us and the next lot over. So, uh, I'm sore, we're all sore. Now, we have some more fence. We might, might have enough. We're gonna continue on along Carroll Road to the, that back corner of our property eventually, button up against the other neighbors, and then come across uh, his fence line and then through the forest to the back corner where my sheds are. And then the fence that I've got there now is gonna be, um, probably stay there and have a gateway so that um, my orchard can expand. So all what you see here will be eventually all orchards. Uh, no, Michelle, it's just garbage. And then we'll have, this goes back, oh, 400 feet maybe from where I'm sitting before our property ends up in there. 400, 500 feet, I don't know. It's a long way. So we're all sore. I want to take the girls in for pizza and ice cream. I promised them. But we've gained, so where this petite post is, was our, uh, there's our little gateway. Uh, we fenced it in for now. It's actually closed off. Later I'll put on the uh, posts, put up the posts and put a proper gate in. But for now it's closed off completely as we aren't going to use it right now anyway. And when we do I'll fix it up. And then we cut from that T-post, we came over to here, there's a T-post. And our fence line went along and up through the trees and that was our deer fence. But now what we've done is we've gone out we stopped and opened up here and we went out and around these trees along the outer edge of all the forest of all the trees between us and Carroll Road, which is our, our road. And we came up, I don't know if you can see the fence, but you can see where we were working. And we gained um, 30 feet uh, for our orchard. So I'll be taking down the electric fence wires and the posts inside our orchard. And we've gained all that much more land for our orchard so eventually this will all be fruit trees this whole area here everything from well all from uh, right there where those trees are and over to there all the way up into here and all the way out and all the way over and eventually we'll keep expanding through the years as we go on but I want to have some privacy of some kind here so I've got to figure out what to put up so you can't see through, but other than that, we've done a lot. We worked from 9 o'clock this morning. It's got to be like 7 o'clock at night by now. So it was 5.30 when we got to that back corner. And we've been working quite a while through the woods. We'd had to clear brush and, and uh, cut branches off trees and drive in T-posts. And we scrapped in uh, pieces of fence we use scrap pieces back there because nobody's ever going to see it. That cuts across from our land right through the middle of our land. So we use scrap pieces there. And it was a lot more work though. But that way we got the, the bigger, nicer pieces for um, proper fencing along the rest of the carrow later. But for now, guys, that's it. We are done. We're going to go and treat ourselves to, to a nice night. Well, that's it. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. A huge, huge, huge accomplishment today. We're going to have peace, privacy, and safety in a tick-free zone. When we're done, we'll let the chickens and the guineas out. Good night.